What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Lone Oak and welcome to our second Lone Oak video of the day. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> so we just got done recording the last video literally like a few minutes ago and there were some things that I wanted to do but it would have made the video like 30 minutes long and I'm just not down with 30 minute videos anymore. It's just too long too excessive that kind of thing there's some things that we need to do around lone oak to clean the place up and to get some new stuff and some things we need to sell and upgrade because we need massively to get some upgrades going on around here so some things that we need to do first and foremost this truck's got to go we got a brand new dually. You think I'm going to let the TT slide? Uh-uh. We are heading over, and we are going to be getting us a brand new dually. Dually came out yesterday uh, for everybody. came out on September the 12th, which is, coincidentally enough, what day it is for me right now. You guys are seeing this on September 13th. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> so let's head over here. Skirt. One thing I need to check before I start selling stuff. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Crap. This. <laughs> Man, we were everywhere, weren't we? I need to check this. Why do I need to check this? I need to see what is in these trailers, if anything. Okay, so there's a little bit of pig food in this one. All right, we can handle that. Let's go ahead and empty that out. And I wonder if there's any water. If there is, we're going to empty that as well. Our pigs are growing exponentially. Currently, right now, we are rocking 290 pigs. And I'm having a bit of a hard time keeping up with feeding them and, and everything. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's... Nope. Detach. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. The water. Let's check the water. We are going to upgrade the pig farm. And... Okay, so we got 2,000 in here. Not too bad. And we're going to upgrade... So we're getting a new tractor. We're going to be getting new water trans. We're going to be getting a new tipper. And the new uh, tipper for the straw as well. So let's detach there. Let's head into the garage. And let's start just at the beginning. See what we've got. All is good, all is good, everything looks good. Bam, Brainer, gotta go. Farm Tech, sorry buddy, gotta go. Aquatrans, you gotta go. And I think the rest of this is good. It is, it is very good. Sweet. So now, we can park this back in here again. Yay! Let's head back over to the store, wherever our truck is. There it is. Let's lower the tailgate and let's get this fifth wheel out of here. So we want to keep the fifth wheel, but the truck we want to sell. Drop the truck off and sell the truck. So the first thing that we are going to get is a brand new dually pickup. We're getting the big engine. We are getting it in black with black wheels because why not? That's sexy. We would get the USA decal, but as to not make it too crazy American, even though you only see these in America, uh, we are going to keep it just as is. Oh, oh, she's just mean. She is just ruthlessly mean. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. Back up in here, grab that fifth wheel, raise it up. There she blows. Man, this thing is tight. This is just a nice, nice truck. Okay, so we got the truck. That's cool. That's gonna be our primary vehicle now. Even though we never use it. <laughs> On to tractors. Well, first things foremost, before we go to tractors, sorry guys, we wanna get a larger Aquatrans, the Q Big Liner. We went for standard on the other one, so let's go for color on this one. We need a tipper. So we've been using the farm, farm tech 
1500 to do all of our pig food. We are going to upgrade, I believe, to the Joskin Transpace. Yep, that is definitely the one that we want to go with. 31000 purchase. Yes, please. Now we need a tractor that can handle all that. Not only a tractor, but it needs to be a case. So let's go into case over here. So we've got a couple options. We can either go for, not the multi-row, gosh. Uh, we go with a Puma, Optum, or Magnum. Now, I'm not sure how well the Puma only having 270 horsepower would work, but I think the Magnum's gonna be too big, and I love the Optum. It's my favorite tractor in the game. Well, one of them anyway. So we could go with that. Now, there is one other option. And this might trigger some people, so hold on to your seats. I'm looking at possibly the Massey Ferguson 8700. It's going to pull everything just fine. We're not going to have to worry about the Aquatrans getting stuck in the water, anything like that. But I think for now, we are going to try to go for the Optum with wide tires. There we go. Oh yeah, and it looks it looks appropriate for both of those as well. Cool. Okay, so now we need to get everything down there. And I believe we will take it just as so. We will take this down there, and we will take the Aquatrans down there. I don't think there's any reason to not drive stuff down, but what would be fun? What would be the most fun is to try and stick that Aquatrans on the back of this truck. Some people are saying, yo, you should try this with the truck, try that with the truck. We are going Aquatrans with the truck. Not only are we going Aquatrans with the truck, we are going to fill it up with water with the truck. I don't I have no idea how that's going to go for us. The tractor definitely has less horsepower, less torque, but it's not. Oh, the rear of the truck's lifting. Oh, gosh. Am I going to be? Don't tell me I'm stuck. Come on, bro. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Let's see. Back up to it. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Hopefully we're not going to be going too crazy anymore. So let's head on down. Let's try and fill this up. And let's see if we are able to pull this Aquatrans with this truck out of the water. All right. Let's see if this is going to pull. I am kind of skeptical. Oh gosh, oh gosh. But the thing is right now, it's kind of lifting the front end, or it's lifting the back end of the truck up. So I'm hoping maybe with all that weight, it'll push that back down. So I'm not gonna try and get it too stuck, but I think that's a pretty, let's see, let's get everything on the ground. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> jeez, let's fill it up. Moment of truth right here. Moment of truth. I'm going to gun it and gun it. Holy crap. There's no way. Oh my gosh. This thing is a hoss. Yes. Pull it, baby. Rear end's definitely weighed down now. That's for sure. Oh, man. Yes! This is pulling way better than the tractor is going to pull it. Oh my god, I might as well just buy one of these for down here. If it didn't look weird, I would. Oh man, this is awesome. Dude, that's cool. Alright, let's pack it in here. Let's go ahead and unload. Let's give them all the water that they could ever want and need. Uh, now, some of you are probably saying... Oh, DJ, you did it again, man. Oh, what did I do this time? Oh, you way over did it, bro. You don't need stuff that big for that many pigs. I don't. You are absolutely right. But I'm not planning on selling any. 
so I'm just gonna get as many pigs as I can. That's, that's the whole point there. <laughs> Cause I have, fortunately, in here, the disposable income uh, available to me as a farmer, as, you know, successful farmers do. Wow, man, this thing just takes off like a bat out of hell. Let's get the jump. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's put this away in the house where it goes in its rightful place. Oh, 80 miles an hour coming to the house. Slow down. Wow, and the brakes are incredible on this thing. Can we get it in here? Gosh, and it doesn't beep when you pull it out. All right, one for old time's sake even though I still suck at basketball. Swoosh! Can I still shoot plants? That's the real question. Yes, I can. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. Boom, baby. All right. Back over here to the kid little piggies. I'm about to say to the cow farm. No, these are not cows. These are itty-bitty little piggy-piggy piggies. Hello, little piggies. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I was going to get two tippers, not just one. Uh, well, now's a good time for a placeable. Let's head over to this one right here. This is the placeable that I want. I want to put this somewhere where I can put pig food in it if I want to. Ooh, right there's a little, little far forward there. Is that gas? That is, no, no, that's not gas. Uh, let's see, is this a little much? It's kind of in the road, but, oh, little movements, small movements. Bam, got it. That is where I want it to be. So, first things first, piggy food. How much piggy food are they going to take? Not only how much piggy food are they going to take, but will piggy food even load into here? It will. We just have to get it kind of right up on it. This is going to be expensive. 30 plus grand expensive. Not looking forward to this price right here. Oh boy. There it is. Oh, it, oh that's right. I had a little bit in there to begin with. This tractor's... Oh, it's having time. It's doable, and the good thing is we don't have to be anywhere in a hurry, especially with this map, but... I guess we can't back up to it anymore, can we? It's all right, we're dumping it in, and that's not even going to put a freaking dent in it. Oh, my gosh. Not even a little bit. Barely over... Oh my gosh, how much is this gonna, this is gonna be an expensive feeding. Well, I guess the good thing is we got a lot of money, right? 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 This is my fourth feeding. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so much. Four, it's 124,000 liters of pig food. It's insane. Take it. Eat it. Love it. I wonder if they're going to take all of this. If not, we can always put it in the uh, black sheep modding silo over there. And they're going to take every stinking bit of it. But we are at the top, so that is cool. And last but not least, we need straw. Where is straw? There it is. I don't know if we need to fill this up or not. Where are we at with straw? 13,000. So, like... 17 to 20,000 should do it. Let's just fill up to 20. There we go. And get a nice little turnaround here. Uh, also, down in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about these like extra videos because there's a lot of stuff that I do off screen. And for me, I mean, I would love to make, you know, like a Lone Oak extra. If you, if you guys watch uh, Good Mythical Morning, now they have Good Mythical Morning and Good Mythical More. We could be like Lone Oak and Lone Oak More. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Alright, how much of these are the pigs going to take? Ooh, is it going to go too high? Don't, stop, 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 stop. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they took it all. Every penny of it. But I don't think they could take any more. So there are pigs done 
Now we got the cows left to do. Let's go say hey to our cows. And for our cows, we need everything. We need water. Oh, yes. We need hay. Uh-huh. We need straw. Oh, boy. We need grass. Oh, my. And some silage as well as some power food. Fortunately for us, silage, hay, and power food all goes hand in hand. Now, how much water do they have? Oh, they definitely need more water than I can, than I have in here right now. So, this is a Optum. This is the, yep, the 300. Same version we have at the other place. Same Joskin Aquatrans. However, we got to go uphill with this one. And I'm going to cut through. Why not? I did sell the solar panels. I just didn't see reason to keep them. I know I lost money on them, but they were only making us like eight grand per night anyway. So I was like, do I really want to keep them? I don't, I don't have a need to. So I decided to sell those and we got them sold. Let's fill this guy up and then we're going to back in over there. We're going to give them some water and then we got to make everything else. Now, as far as power food goes, we've got some things going on. Right now, we have more hay than we do silage. So, what we're doing is we're doing 20% straw. Now, all of these mixtures work. That's the thing. It's, it's not like they don't work. And then we're going to do 20%, 30%. Silage, wherever that is. So this is going to take us up to 50%. Then we're going to top it off with hay because we have a ton of hay. 7, 8, 9, 50. There it is. And last but not least, top it off with hay. And eventually this will change colors. I'm guessing around 70 to 80% total. They say, yep, there it is right there. About 72, 73 that's where it changes now we are going to need a lot of this i think we're going to need between two and three loads total of this i can't be sure but i know it's going to take a lot and a lot is definitely a lot also getting in here with this very very difficult um it it's doable but the thing is, you've got to get it just right. And for some reason, it will not unload. So you have to get it just at the right angle. There we go. Unloading. So we're going to get this all done because I've got to make this every time. So you guys aren't going to want to watch that. And then we got some poo to declare. Speaking of declaring poo, where is? There's our first pile of poo. And let's wing this around and let's start loading up our second. We will be selling both of these. And then whatever's not done here, we'll either A, fill up from the poo pile or we'll just call it a day. Either way, doesn't matter. I'm cool with anything. This is almost done. Two, one, zero. Actually, we may only have to do one more load of power food, which would be kind of nice <laughs> I think I will say this drives like it's full even when it's not full I know this is a heavy truck or a heavy trailer but dang all right now we're gonna go backwards with it 50% hay 30% silage 20% straw oh yeah I decided to get a first-person look so here it is dumping 
Here's our poo. Tell you what, that little picker upper will pick up from afar. Very much so. Don't step in the poo! Ah, oh, you just stepped in your poo. What's wrong with you? You stupid cow. Watch it, watch it, watch it. It's so satisfying to watch it go. Oh, I won't get this part, will it? Dang. That's all right. Let's see if we can get out of here without having to move around. There we go. So we have a 70,000 liter and a 29,000 liter full. Also, speaking of full, check this out. Slurry fill level 750,000 liters. 100%. Is this not disgusting or what? I filled it all the way to the top. This thing was deep and we filled it all the way up. How cool is that? All right, let's bump over. Where it is? Here it is. How much do we need left? You know what? I think that it's good. So, oh, come on, let me out of here. So let's get this parked up. Let's grab our manure. Let's take it up to the BGA. Let's get our dump on and let's get out of here. We are ready for the double dump. Oh, baby, oh, baby. It's about to fill up. Oh, yeah. Now, normally, if you fill up one of these with a 70,000 liter tanker thing, whatever, you have to set it on times 30. So, we are going to set it on times 60 in order to make this work the right way. So, dump, dump. Let's run, 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 run. I want to see the double dump. I want to see it. <laughs> double dump. All right, there goes one. See, the thing is about manure, you don't make a whole lot for it. You don't make a whole lot at all, actually. But we made 10 grand off of all that. Nothing you can do. Oh, well. So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed episode 70.5, the extra content. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you guys want to see more like this, let me know. I'd be happy to do it. I do a lot of stuff off screen that you guys don't see before and after the videos. So if you want to see more like this, I'd be happy to do it. We are all set and ready to go for tomorrow's episode. I don't have to do a thing. Trucks are where they need to be. Everything's where it needs to be. We are good. So. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.